Hello everyone and welcome to Scrap Mechanic. This game looks super freaking cool. It was sent to me by my buddy Robaz. He said it's a cross between like space engineers and besiege. So as you can see there's a dude standing up here. You actually control a little dude and run around and build stuff. So I'm really excited about it. I think it could be a series. Like I had a lot of fun playing Terratech and games like that. So I think it could be similar to that. But um, it really depends on how much stuff is in the game right now. So we're just going to go in, start a new game and just mess around and try and build some stuff. Did you know that if you put two toilet paper rolls on top of each other, it will become a paper towel roll? See, I already know this game is going to be good, guys. Hi, Mechanic. Welcome to Scrap Mechanic Creative Mode. This is a great place to express your creativity and build the most amazing creations. Or, if you're me, build some crap. Engineer, architect, both, everything you need is already conveniently stacked in your inventory. A great way to start is by opening the Mechanics Handbook, which you'll find in your hotbar and following the instructions for how to build a vehicle. It'll help you get comfortable with the basic building system and give you a great foundation on which to build your scrap mechanic skills. Hmm. All right. So here we are. This is a like first person mode right now, but I think there's also like a third person or maybe they only go in third person when you um, get in a vehicle because the way it works is you get these little like um, seats you got to put in the vehicle and sit in. You got to have steering wheels and you got to set up your steering. You know, the same way Besiege works when it comes to that kind of thing, but there's a lot of... Um, a lot of technical stuff in the game that seems really awesome. How to build a vehicle. Place the lift on the ground, then build a base from blocks on the lift as shown. Place the required bearings, wheels, driver's seat, and gas engine. Um, then connect it all together using the connection tool. Okay, see, that's something that I could actually do. So this is the lift over here. Uh, so you place it on the ground, and then this will go up and down if you press up and down on your keyboard. Yeah, so if you need to build things underneath, you can just go underneath it and lift it up and things like that. So, now we need to build a base. Is this what I, I'm supposed to build with? The, what, what the hell is going on? There. Got it. Done. I hope you guys are ready for the world's ugliest vehicle, because you are gonna get it. <laughs> um, I don't know how turning works. I'm pretty sure you need to set up some kind of weird thing for turning to actually, like, function right in this game. Let's just do that, and then stick, like, a wheel or two on here. Here's a wheel, and then there's a wheel, and then two wheels for the other side. Now we had to put in our little seat just like that. Okay, and then you press E to use. I don't know what the hell is up with this. When you go to get on it, your body just goes all ridiculous. Look at this. Blah. But he gets on anyway. And now, uh, well, for one, this isn't going to work very well considering we're on the lift. Make sure you remove the lift before using it. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> Hop out again. Um, lift it up. And I'm pretty sure we got to connect things. I didn't do that yet either. Where the hell is the connection tool? All right, this thing is the connection tool, guys. So we put it on this ball here, and then you hold it, and you bring it down to the wheels. No, because we don't got an engine. That's what we need to do. We need to get ourselves an engine. And there's nothing to actually steer right now, so you can't connect the steering to anything else. The engine is right here, right? So you just stick that behind the seat, I guess. I don't see why not. There you go. And then you connect that to all the wheels. Okay, let's do that. No, is that is that not a thing? Did I, did I screw something up? What is this, um, oh, let me have a look here. This, bearing. Everything you place on the bearing will revolve. Bearings can also be connected to an engine or the driver's seat to be controlled in different ways. Oh, okay. So in that case, we're probably going to need bearings in order to spin our wheels. So here is our bearing. That's a little tiny thing you put on right here. And then the wheel goes around that and it should revolve and everything should be a-okay. So let's give it a go. Boom. And now, guys, you use this little connection tool here. You just drag it over here, and boom. Everything is now connected. Uh, press right-click to change the rotation direction. I think it's good that way. Yeah. So we also need to connect this to that. And now we hop on. No, no, now we hop off, and we remove that. And now we hop on, and we'll go. Oh! Oh, it's actually working! Okay, so this is um, attempt number one at creating a vehicle. It can't turn anywhere. This guy is trying to turn, but it's obviously not going to work. Um, it also sucks. Just going to point that out. Thrusters send your creations flying. Activated by connecting any type of trigger or the driver's seat. Make sure the object you want to send flying is not stuck to the ground. Hmm. I kind of feel like we need to make some of these or put some of these on our vehicle to make it go a little bit faster. We still can't turn, but at least we'll be fast. And one, two, three. <laughs> All right, I like that. So let's go ahead, get rid of that again, and then get, oh, hang on a second. I didn't actually place anything. I didn't connect anything together. This needs to connect to these things. 
I don't know what's gonna happen now, guys. I don't know if this is gonna... Oh, yes, it's working! Here we go! Okay, oh, shit! Shit, 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 shit! It's a good thing this guy doesn't really mind getting banged around a little bit. <laughs> nice job, buddy! Hmm, okay. So I think, guys, what we can do is we can just click on this and then click on that, and it's back on the ground again. Then we get back on it, and we keep going. Come on, you can get over this rock. That's no big deal. Mm. Oh, yes, you got it. Okay. Where are we gonna go? I don't know, man. Probably nowhere. Pretty much nowhere. I probably shouldn't try this as one of the first things I do in the game, guys, but I'm gonna try and make myself a little bit of a rocket here, okay? I think I could, like, um, I don't know, enclose myself in a little bit so I don't fall out of the rocket. Maybe make a little base on the top of it so I don't fall off. I want to be able to, like, ride this thing, okay? I don't want to get in it like a cockpit. I want to just stand in there and then attach a switch that just turns all these things on and throws me into the air. So what we're doing is we're attaching a switch to all the uh, thrusters down below. And then I'm going to decorate this place a little bit, okay? There's at least one thing we really need to have before we go anywhere, and that's toilet paper, okay? Because, I mean, toilet paper is important because I'm probably going to shit myself when I fly into the air. I'll have one roll of toilet paper, and I'll have one roll of paper towels. I think that should do the job. Also, guys, I need a rubber ducky to keep me company. Okay, I think this is pretty much it. I think if I click this now, I'm gonna fly into the air. Let's try it. Oh my god! Yes, and it flew away on me. Thanks a lot. Can you please come back? I can't actually turn it off, guys, because, um... Oh, oh, maybe I can catch it. Yes! It decided to land straight down. I just need to press the button, press the button, press the button. Got it. Whoop. I'm using a lift to get myself up here rather than use the lift to actually, you know, uh, hold the vehicle itself. Let me see. Shit. Let me see if I can maybe enclose myself in this thing and then try and take off. Because I didn't like how it just threw me out of the vehicle. I thought that was kind of rude. Let me just build around here there, rubber ducky. It's all good. Just putting the finishing touches on this thing. I don't know what's going to happen when I actually try and stand up rather than crouching. But I mean, that's all part of the learning process. We're about to find out what's going to happen here. Um, you continue to be crouched. Okay, so this is gonna be kind of weird. We can't fall out now because we're enclosed. I only like half-assed it. Uh, this entire thing is super unsymmetrical, but it's not like it's gonna go anywhere anyway. It's just gonna flip around a bunch. So here we go. Let's fly into space again. Or back down to the ground. Come on! Why'd you throw me out? Seriously? I trusted you! Alright, I'm gonna try not to go too in over my head with this video, guys, just because I don't want to spend forever trying to make something that ends up being terrible. So we're just going to, um, basically build a very simple vehicle, you know, stick a, uh, driver's seat in there, stick an engine, just like we made when we first started the game. But I'm also gonna put steering on the wheel so we can get it around, and I think you can also fiddle with how, uh, how fast the engine goes. So hopefully you can make, like, a decently fast vehicle without having to put, like, rockets on the back to just make it go everywhere. So the bearings go here, and here, and here, and here for the wheels. What I love about this game, guys, is the fact that the bearings don't even show up until you're in this mode here. So if you if you get out of this mode, you can't even see them, it looks like there's nothing there, yet the blocks can twist around, so you can make some really cool Transformer-style stuff. So I think there's, this game is gonna have people making some really cool stuff, like Besiege, People have made some really amazing things, and like the building style is a lot different in this one, so I think they're gonna make a, a lot of amazing things that are a lot different than the things you can actually build in Besiege. So, with these things connected now, I should be able to um, steer left and right, right? No? To make sure you, I know I gotta move the lift, but I didn't think that would be a problem. Okay, go away, get in, and turn. Oh, it's working! It's actually turning! Okay, so um, the problem here is they're, um, they're turning in opposite directions. When I try and turn left, I turn right. So in that case, I just gotta spin them, I believe. Right click on them and they'll spin. Good! So then we grab the bearings again, because those are gonna need to be used to spin the wheels as well. Everything that needs to move basically uses bearings, I believe. Oh shit, this isn't gonna work, is it? Because when you try and spin it now, it's gonna bring up. Uh, let me just remove this thing and see what happens here. Get on and turn. Yeah, so it kind of works, but it's not really gonna do the job. I think we're gonna need to move it out a bit or move it down a bit. I guess we can move it down. Yeah, if we move it down, it'll be fine. Okay, we'll do that. All right, so the main seat is connected to all of these uh, bearings here, which are used to steer. Then we also have to connect it to the uh, the engine here, and the the engine 
is connected to all these wheels. So now we should be able to get in it and actually steer it. Wait a second. Once again, you got to get rid of that. Now we should be able to get in it and steer. Let's see. Come on. You know you want to go forwards. Why aren't you going forwards? Did I screw something up again? I'm pressing the forwards and backwards button and nothing is happening. Oh, hang on a second. Yeah, the wheels get all weird, don't they? So um, these ones need to be forwards. There. And away we can... Oh, shit. I totally screwed that up. I don't need to have all of these on steering. I can have a couple of them on the back just going straight. Because if they all steer, then this is going to happen. I don't want that either. And how the hell do I actually like drive sensibly? Where I'm not just, um, you know, unable to get up the tawniest little hills. Hop off, buddy. We still got some work to do here. Gas engine. So right now it's on a very, very low speed, I think. If we put up to a really high speed, things should get a little bit crazy. Let's give that a try. Oh, shit. What in the hell are you doing? What? The, what is going on? That's not how your wheels are supposed to work. Oh, man. Is it because I left on the, um, <laughs> I left on the bearings since they're not connected to anything now? They're just going to wobble around? Okay. Great. You're doing good, buddy. You're doing good. Now, I just need to double check and make sure everything is rotating the proper way. The engine is still on full speed, guys. I'm going to keep it there. Just because I really want to find out how good it's going to be once we have everything set up properly. So we're going to hop in and we're going to go. Shit, come on. Why don't we try bringing it down to half speed? That might help. So now, guys, it actually does a pretty decent job of going forwards, but it can really easily flip over like that easy. Thanks a lot. Okay, hop off, hop off, place it there, get it back again. We'll bring it down a little bit more, okay, because clearly it's still... A little bit too powerful. There, that's pretty much zero now. Let's go one more. There, that one. That one ought to do it. So where are we going to go? I'm thinking we're going to drive over this way somewhere. There's like a little hill over here. I got to go explore and there's actually like um, platforms and things in the game you can build on. Like little, they almost look like uh, launch pads and things. Man, I should have made this vehicle a little bit wider. <laughs> stop, stop trying to flip yourself over, man. It's not going to happen. Not on my watch. Okay, fine. You're probably going to end up flipping over. But don't. Don't do it! No, no, shit. What am I doing right now? Oh, I don't know how to make a vehicle that actually works good in this game, guys. I don't know if I told you that or not. <laughs> if you don't already know, I'm kind of a noob at most of the games that I play. I mean, I might get good eventually and make some decent stuff, but I don't think that's what this episode is for. This episode is so you guys understand what the game is all about, in case you want to see some more. You want to see some more? Leave a like on this video. Getting real sick of your shit, buddy. Real sick of your shit. Would you look at that? I think I might have made it to the top of this little hill area. What I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna take a short little break from building vehicles, and I'm gonna build myself a freaking treehouse, okay? Because you can actually build on the trees. Look at this. You walk over to a tree, and you can build right on it. Boom. Treehouse built. Now tell me you wouldn't want to live up in that tree, guys. I personally would like to live up in that tree. And I managed to make some sort of system for getting up there with a series of platforms. So now we can just hop on up here. And I even put some stairs there. This is actually working a lot better than I thought it was, guys. Like, the staircase looks pretty legit. We just need to make it better. I think I'm going to do that before I uh, actually do anything with the treehouse itself. Because I really want a nice staircase. For some reason, guys, I've decided to take a game that's about building vehicles... And I've turned it into Minecraft. Now I'm just building myself a treehouse. I don't know, man. Treehouses are fun. You can't go wrong with a treehouse. That's what I always say. Anyway, the staircase is done. After forever. Uh, sort of. If I could get up there, thank you very much. And now we just gotta deck out our treehouse. No pun intended. Because of the whole thing, it's a kind of a deck. Well, guys, it didn't end up being the nicest place in the world. This is my tree fort. You got a corner with nothing in it, a corner with nothing in it, a corner with nothing in it, and then over here, obviously, we got ourselves a sink with a rubber ducky and some toilet paper and a plant. There's no toilets in this game, so I'm assuming that I'm just going to head the shit in the plant. That's what the toilet paper is for, for wiping my ass. I guess I could use plant leaves, but I ain't going to do that. Okay, guys, this is actually super cool. So they got these things called controllers in the game, and you go there, and there's this big editor you can do. So you can choose how fast things rotate, and you can make a sequence out of it so you can make things that transform. I'm not even going to bother to tell you all the cool things you could do with that when you have automated sequences like that. So I'm not going to tell you, okay? Eventually, we'll probably get to that kind of thing in the game, but I'm just going to try and build something with some more rockets on it, and I'm just going to fly myself off into the distance or something. 
Oh man, look at the size of these wheels, guys. Holy crap. Okay, I think these could work like uh, where they are. I'm gonna have to actually put bearings on there, but I think this will work because of the fact that um, I moved this out a little bit from the vehicle itself. You can see it's um, it's one block out. So hopefully it works with the way we have this set up. Big wheels will probably help us not fall over so easy. So that's good. Here goes nothing. I think we got it, guys. We just gotta back it up. Point ourselves in some sort of direction here. Um, I'm thinking maybe just... Okay, this thing is really powerful now. And go. Oh, oh, okay, see, this is just one problem when you put rockets on anything. It just makes it go absolutely crazy. But, I mean, I think we're having a good time, personally, okay? I would probably pay good money to do something like this, where I grind my face off the ground and probably die. What the hell is this over here, guys? There's a big old fence that goes around the map. I guess it's so that you can't just go for an infinite amount of time. I guess the map has a finite size to it. Can I go over it by uh, using my... Rockets? I can barely do anything using these rockets, so probably not. Yes, yes, no, yep. Go, 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 go! Did you get it? Get over the... Okay, there's an invisible wall there, guys. So, we figured that much out. You can't go over the fence. Well, guys, honestly, I think this game is really cool and it has a lot of potential. I can see some really cool stuff being made in this game. Obviously, for me, I didn't really do anything uh, amazing in this video because I just wanted to test out some features and things. But if you guys have any suggestions for vehicles you think would be cool to make in this game or just contraptions in general because this game is not just about vehicles, but you can make all kinds of stuff with parts that move around and things like that. So if you have any suggestions that you think would be cool in a future video, you can leave them down below. And I'm going to end this video here. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.